so everyone it's been about two weeks since we uh, got a new car the 2020 Hyundai Elantra in denim blue very very nice color I love the new styling on the Elantra starting in 2019 they've uh, remodeled it very nice no alloy rims but that's not a big deal because um, I don't really need alloy rims on this baby it's a very it looks stylish on its own and one really cool thing about this model the trim's really nice one really cool thing is when you walk up to the trunk it starts to beep like this in this model And the, and the trunk pops right open. Pretty spacious trunk indeed. Okay, so without further ado, let's hop right in. One good neat thing about this feature, if you have the key in your pocket to unlock it, you just hit the button twice here on the handle. And then you can set it aside. Alright, so here we are in the Elantra. The interior, very nice cloth seats. This model comes with heated seats, heated steering wheel, different drive modes including normal, smart and sport, which I will show you once we turn on the engine. USB for Apple CarPlay, uh, 12 volt, two 12 volt adapters, climate control, the rear, rear, this is very important, rear um, defog, defrost, Bluetooth connectivity, the most important feature of them all, no need for the auxiliary cable anymore. I think behind here you have a very spacious, very spacious cubby hole. You have cup holders. Very nice, spacious, spacious holding holder for a phone or a transponder, as you can see here. Um, door cup holders. On the steering wheel, you have your volume buttons. You have your skip tracks. Hang up, hang up and answer calls. You have your Siri button here. This mode button, basically you can switch between the um, well, different modes on the instrument, instrument panel. This button here switches between the displays on the instrument panel. Cruise control, you can press this button and then set the speed which you want and then push down to set the speed that you want at, to stay at and reset is up and uh, set is down cancel is right here this ok button is to ok you know to close anything on the menu important to note that this but does not have active cruise control so you'll have to cancel it with the brakes as you see down there the two pedals and Everything on this model shows up right here, so you'll have your trip computer, I'll show you that um, when we uh, start the engine. You have your trip computer, you have your indicator, you have your headlights, you have your uh, whatever wiper setting you have, it'll show up there. Low fuel warning, kilometers, um, all that jazz. I love the speedo on this, the speedo and the tachometer, very nice, very nice indeed. The dash. They make it look like they make it look. I like this carbon fiber trim. Make it looks very makes it look very sporty. Nice trim all around. Here's the back seat. Important to note that this is the sedan version or saloon version, depending on whether you're from America or uh, across the pond in the UK. This rubber mats. Oh. 
also more cup holders. Oh, we also have a sunroof. So, why don't we go and uh, fire this baby up? So, to start the vehicle, you have to have your keen pocket, press the brakes, and it's started up. Here's the instrument panel. It tells you that the vehicle is on, it shows you the range. You can see, you can cycle through the displays here. Speedometer. To shows you lane, lane keep assist. All the um, different options you can for viewing. Your attention level. You know, so if sorry about that, my video got cut off. So all the different settings showing up here, door chimes you can press ok door chimes auto lock auto unlock two press lock smart trunk turn that off lights one touch turn signal and headlight delay these, these are the type of settings you can uh, turn on or off depending on your preferences and you can go back you can see the convenience a welcome light you can turn on it, basically it's the welcome light is basically something that comes on the handle or when you on the, come, in, come in the car, the light turns on, wiper, dis wiper lights display, gear position pop up, I see road warning, these are all the warnings that come up on the dash, service interval, so it tells you when you need service, other, fuel economy recess, temperature unit, basically fuel economy unit, miles per gallon, kilometers liters per kilometer so. and temperature unit Celsius Fahrenheit and here yeah drive mode it shows you the drive mode so you can switch so here I'll show you when I press this button here it's in sport mode and it also shows up there now it's in smart mode and it shows up there and there now it's in normal mode so I prefer sport, sport mode, prefer, preferably, because of the uh, extra acceleration and uh, tightening of the suspension. Also, you have your, you can turn off the blind spot detection warning, you can turn on lane keep assist or turn it off. And you can turn off traction control for those who really want to be uh, sporty. Well, I think I've pretty much covered everything in the... Uh, car but uh, let's pop the hood so popping the hood is pretty easy you just have to do that I'll turn out the engine now basically there's a little lever here there is a little lever that you have to push to um, lift the hood there's the engine Here's the oil dipstick, the lever, the windshield washer fluid, the coolant, the batteries, everything in there, everything very nice and clean. It won't be like this in a year or two, but it's nice to see it very nice and clean after two weeks. And I'm just going to close it now. There you go. That was the Elantra. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Or uh, tell us your thoughts on the new car. Thank you. Have a good day, everyone.